Twelfth Night, that 1601 play written by Shakespeare, is a sparkling comedy. It is a play which has no shadow of grief or suffering, unlike the romances, which end happily, but there is an element of pain in those plays. Twelfth Night is a pure comedy. It is one of the happy comedies. In this beautiful play, even the comic scenes, which are otherwise just like a patchwork on in the Elizabethan plays, achieve a significance. The comic scenes in Twelfth Night become a part of the play seamlessly. In fact, the comic scenes offer a contrast and even serve as a commentary on the main action. The center of this sparkling comedy is the heroine, Viola, who with her poise, with her self-composure, with her grace and with her presence of mind is not only endearing, lovable, beautiful, feminine in spite of her male attire, but she is also a contrast or as a foil, she acts as a foil to the excesses of the other characters. In the main action, there are of course Orsino and Olivia who indulge themselves in the luxury of their excessive emotions, both of them with fantastic egos and a great capacity for self-indulgence. Orsino's obsession is that of playing the role of a lovesick man. He, with all the resources at his command, plays the role to the hilt. Olivia, the other egoistical character, she has the luxury of pampering herself in an excessive show of grief at the death of her brother. She indulges herself in mourning which again borders on the extravagant. So both these characters suffer from excessive posing or posturing or trying to live up to a world which they have conjured up for themselves and which is of course very very unrealistic. It is just a way for themselves to flatter themselves into believing what they want to believe about themselves. They have created this image which is a reflection of their monstrous egos and their egoistical behavior. In the comic scenes, we have the excesses of characters like Malvolio and Sir Toby. Malvolio's excess is of course his puritanism, his self-righteousness, his judgmental attitude, his moral posing and his constant belief in his own perfection. In this behavior of his, he reminds us of Joseph from Wuthering Heights who was an equally insufferable character full of his moral policing his religious hypocrisy and his constant belittling of other people. Sir Toby, along with his cronies, is of course devoted to hedonism and his uh, excesses of pleasure seeking to which he unabashedly indulges himself or devotes himself to 
in contrast to these characters all these characters whose behaviors are bordering on mania and obsessions they have this obsessive streak in them viola's dignity her poise her composure her self control and her quiet acceptance of forbearance we can say is really impressive she is one of the most enduring heroines created by shakespeare stranded in a strange country without anyone to confide in yet she bears with a quiet tolerance the excesses of not only the duke or sino but also of olivia and she faces emotional pain of her own because she is trying to find or discover the whereabouts of her brother her twin brother she has been stranded in this country because she was in a shipwreck and she in spite of herself falls in love with the duke of seno and not only that but she finds herself in the pickin situation when she carries the messages of love from the man she loves to another woman whom he fancies himself to be in love with how superficial that love is is of course it's quite clear in the end but he enjoys himself uh, playing the role of a love sick man how superficial oliver's grief is is apparent the moment she sees cesario and decides to fall in love with him so and she discards her mourning almost at once so viola at the center of 12th night is full of a feminine grace beauty intelligence as all shakespearean heroines are and also she is a foil or she is in her persona she is a commentary on the ridiculous absurd egoistical and maniacal excesses of all the other characters not only the duke or sino and olivia but also characters who belong to the comic scenes among them malvolio and sir to thank you